Did I mention she was only in fifth grade when she did that? Wow! wow that's amazing! Welcome to the Disney Princess Club. I'm Aaliyah. I'm Elena. And I'm Brandolyn. Every February, we celebrate Black History Month. For the entire month, we honor the contributions Black and African Americans made throughout history. But did you know Black History Month actually started off as a week? Yeah! In 1926, Carter D. Woodson co-founded a week-long celebration that encouraged African Americans to study and pay homage to their past. That's right! And they chose February to honor President Abraham Lincoln, who was born February 12th, and Frederick Douglass, who was born February 14th. Then, in the 1940s, the week-long event became a month-long celebration. President Joe Ford officially recognized Black History Month nationwide in 1976. Countries all over the world celebrate Black History Month, including the United Kingdom, Canada, Germany, and the Netherlands. There's so many historical moments in Black History. Yeah. Yep. Since there's 28 days in February, we're going to celebrate 28 Black History Moments. Are you guys ready? Ready. ready. Let's do it. In 1837, Cheney University of Pennsylvania became the first HBCU. HBCU stands for Historically Black Colleges and Universities. They were made specifically for African Americans to get a college education. That's so inspiring. The Harlem Renaissance took place in the late 1910s in the Harlem neighborhood of New York City. This movement celebrated African American culture, music, literature, art, and my favorite, Dance! <laughs> In the early 1900s, Madam C.J. Walker became the first female self-made millionaire after inventing a line of hair care products for Black and African Americans. You know what else happened in the early 1900s? What? George Washington Carver developed over 300 products from the peanut plant, including things like milk, cheese, flour, plastics, ink, and soap. Everything I love! Yeah, Brandolyn, and I'm just naming a few. In 1909, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People was created, also known as the NAACP. It was formed to help ensure justice for African Americans. In 1921, Bessie Coleman was the first African American woman to earn a pilot's license. She was known for her tricks and daredevil performances she would do in the sky. That was like a hundred years ago. What trick would you do, Elena? I would do something crazy, like a quadruple loop-de-loop -loop and then go up and do some crazy sort of spin or something. That's super cool. The three-light traffic light was invented by Garrett Morgan in 1923. For him, there's just a two-light system. Stop and go. There would be a lot more accidents if it wasn't for him. Definitely. In 1939, Patty McDonald was the first African American to win an Oscar. I'd like to thank, I'd like to thank, hmm, who should I thank? <laughs> <laughs> Starting in the late 1940s, African Americans fought against racial discrimination and social injustices. This was known as the Civil Rights Movement. In 1949, Dorothy Vaughn, also known as a human computer, was the first African-American manager at NASA. A human computer. Wow! I know, too cool. I'm glad my computer isn't human. I wouldn't want it to run away. <laughs> <laughs> In 1954, the Supreme Court ruled that racial segregation of children in public schools was unconstitutional. That made it possible for all of us to attend the same school. Yeah! yeah. In 1958, choreographer and dancer Alvin Ailey created the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater as a way to preserve the black cultural experience. The dance theater has gone to perform for over 25 million people in 71 countries and six continents. That's a lot of dancing. In 1959, Floyd Norman was the first African-American animator at Walt Disney Animation Studios. He worked on films like Sleeping Beauty, 101 Dalmatians, Jungle Book, Mulan, and so much more. They're all my favorite movies. Mine too. Mulan was so brave. Yes. 
1962, James West co-invented the electric microphone. It eliminated the need for a power supply by using a permanently charged material. Great! Now I can sing all day and all night without any interruption. Order in the court! In 1967, Thurgood Marshall was the first African-American member of the United States Supreme Court. All rise. You may be seated. In 1968, Naomi Sims became the first African-American supermodel. Look what, look at this thing. Dr. Mark Dean co-invented the color IBM PC monitor. Then, in 1999, he also co-invented the first gigahertz processor. Thanks, Dr. Dean, because I love watching videos on my laptop. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Dr. Dean. Wait, without Dr. Dean, we wouldn't be in this video right now. In 1987, Mae Jemison became the first African-American woman admitted into the NASA's astronaut training program. Then, in 1992, the first African-American woman in space. That's amazing. I'd like to visit space one day. Me too. If I could go to space, I would want to meet some awesome aliens. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> in 1988, Florence Griffith Joyner became the fastest woman of all time after setting the world record for the 100 and 200 meter race. Wow. She's lightning speed. Yep. And she still is. In 2008, Barack Obama became the first black president of the United States of America. Making Michelle Obama the first African American first lady. Yeah. In 2009, Disney introduced its first black princess. Tiana! Princess Tiana, who's also the first princess to own her own business, was introduced to us in The Princess and the Frog. I'd love to visit Tiana's palace. Me too. I'd love to try her world famous beignets. I bet they're delicious. Mm hmm Yeah. In 2015, Misty Copeland was the first African-American ballerina to be promoted to principal dancer in the American Ballet Theater. Also in 2015, Miley Dias launched a campaign called Hashtag 1000 Black Girl Books. It's a collection of thousands of books that showcase black female main characters. Did I mention she was only in fifth grade when she did that? Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, and she even wrote a book of her own entitled Marley Diaz gets it done and so can you. Wow, now I think I want to write my own book. What would it be about? Cardi's? <laughs> <laughs> In 2018, the movie Black Panther was released. Not only did it have a black director and cast, it was the first superhero movie to be nominated for the best picture at the Oscars. Wakanda forever. It's such a good movie. It really is. In 2019, Marcy Martin became the youngest executive producer in history. She executive produced the movie Little at the age of 14. By the time she was 16, she was already a nine time and double ACP Image Award winner. Wow, that's so cool. I want to be an executive producer someday. In 2020, Serena Williams made history after winning her 23rd Grand Slam match. More than any man or woman in the open era. Wow, that's really cool. She's such an amazing tennis player. She really is. Amanda Gorman is the only poet to ever perform at the Super Bowl. She also became the youngest inaugural poet in history when she spoke at the 2021 inauguration. You know what else happened at the 2021 inauguration? Kamala Harris, a black and South Asian woman, became the first female vice president ever. Woohoo! That means we can be vice president one day. Or even the president. Yeah. Wow, these people were so courageous. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage to be the first to do something or to take a stand. And it takes kindness. Whether they're entertaining someone or they're making sure everyone's equal, 
They always cared about people. You guys are right. They showed courage and kindness. Marley Diaz was in fifth grade when she launched a nationwide campaign. If she can do it, so can we. Let's make a promise to be courageous and kind. We can start right now. That's a great idea. Okay. Awesome. Well, that's all the Black History moments we have for you today. We hope you learned a lot and had some fun. I know I did. Me too. Me three. Thanks so much for joining us at the Disney Princess Club. Until next time, bippity bippity bobbity bye.